All right, hello, welcome to Math with Mr. Strands. This is Matthew C, Algebra 1, Lesson 3. We're going to talk about solving um, with like terms and solving for the variable. Okay, so number one is done for us. Let's look at number two. We have 3b minus b plus 7 plus 4b equals 43. So we need to solve for b. All right, so first what we're going to do is combine all of our like terms. Okay, we have a like term of 3b, we have a negative b, and we have a 4b. Since those all have the same variable b, we're going to put those together. So 3b minus 1b is going to give me 2b. 2b plus 4b is going to give me 6b. Okay, I still have my plus 7. And on the other side, I have 43. Okay, so I condensed down my equation a little bit there. All right, my objective is to get b all by itself. I always want my answer to look like this. My variable equals something. Okay, so that's, what, that's the end game. That's what we're trying to get to. So in order to do that, I need to do the inverse of plus 7 on this side. So I'm going to subtract 7 on this side. In algebra, remember, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So if I subtract 7 on this side, I have to subtract 7 on this side. That leaves me with 6b equals 43 minus 7, right? It's going to be a 36. Okay, and then the last step, since 6 is being multiplied by b, I need to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So I'm going to divide by 6 on both sides, the sixes cancel out here. And now I'm left with B equals 36 divided by six is six. And there's my answer. All right, let's look at number three. We have negative four Y minus six plus seven Y plus three plus Y equals 17. Again, I'm gonna combine all of my like terms first. So I have negative four Y, I have a seven Y and I have a Y. So if we do negative 4y plus 7y, that's going to give me a positive 3y. 3y plus 1y would give me a 4y. All right, I have a negative 6 and a positive 3, which would end up giving me a negative 3. And on the other side, I have 17. All right, I'm going to add 3 to this side to get rid of those 3s. So I need to do it on this side. That leaves me with 4y equals 20. Divide by 4 on this side, divide by 4 on this side, y equals 5. Okay, next one. Number 4, I have 5q plus a 3q is an 8q. 8q and 2q is 10q. All right, I have a negative 6 left on the right side of my equation. I have 2 plus 3 is 5, and 5 plus 9 is 14. Okay, I'm going to add 6 here, cancel those out, add 6 there, 10q equals 20. Okay, I'm going to divide by 10 on both sides, and q equals 2. All right, number 5. I have 6k plus 4k, which would give me a 10k. 10k minus 1k would be 9k. I have a negative 5 plus 2 would be a negative 3. And on the other side, I got 12 times 2, which is 24. Okay, I'm going to add 3 here, cancel those out, add 3 here. 9k equals 27, divide by 9, k equals 3. Okay, number 6. 5c minus 2c would give me 3c. 3c minus 1c would give me 2c. Negative 8 plus 7 would be negative 1. On the right side, I got 3 times 4, which is 12, plus 1 would be 13. Okay, I'm going to add 1. Add 1. 2c equals 14. And you can see that c is going to equal 7. Okay, I already have the answers here, but I'm just going to erase them and do it again. If my pen lets me, there we go. Okay, so we got 4a plus 6 equals 2a plus 12. 
Okay, so now I have an A on each side of the equation. So I need to think, do I wanna move that 2A over or do I wanna move the 4A over? I'm going to subtract the 2A from this side. Those cancel out, which means I have to do it from this side. I did it that way, so I still have a positive A left over. I still have 2A, positive 2A. I got plus six and I got 12 left, okay? Now I'm gonna move over my six. I got 2A equals six, divided by two and A equals three. All right, number eight, I'm gonna erase this here. Okay, so 10B minus 2B is gonna be an 8B. On the left side, I still have my positive three there. On the right side, I got 5B plus 21. Okay, again, I'm gonna take the 5B and move that over. So I'm gonna subtract that, those go away. I'm gonna do it over here. That leaves me with 3B plus three equals 21. Subtract three here, subtract three here. 3B equals 18, divide by three, and B equals six. Okay. Going down to number nine. I forgot that I did these already, so I have the answer there, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, 6C plus 3C on the left side is gonna give me a positive 9C. I got negative eight left over. On the right side, I got 7C minus 2C, which is a 5C, and then I got plus 12. Okay, again, I'm gonna move my 5C over. That leaves me with 4C minus eight equals 12. Okay. Once you get comfortable and you start seeing, you can kind of already visualize what the answer is going to be, which I already know the answer is going to be five. Because if I add eight here, add eight here, I got four C equals 20. And you know, 20 divided by four is going to give us five. So once you get comfortable with these, you can actually start to see before you're even done with the problem, what the answer is going to be. All right, let's look at number 10. Erase this here. 6D minus 10 equals negative 2D minus 34. Okay, so since I have a negative 2D on the right side, I'm going to do the opposite and add 2D. That makes those go away. I have to do the exact same thing over here. So that's 8D minus 10 equals a negative 34. I'm going to add 10 since it's a negative 10. Those go away. I'm going to add 10 here. It's going to be 8D equals a negative 24, divided by eight, divide by eight, D equals a negative three. Okay, number 11. Negative three A minus six A, it's gonna give me a negative nine A. Negative 9a plus 10a is going to give me a positive 1a. I got negative 3 plus 5, which is going to be a positive 2. Okay, and on the right side, I got 10. So all I have to do left is subtract 2, and a equals 8. Okay, number 12. Okay, we got negative 5b minus 1b. That's going to be a negative 6b. Negative 6b plus 10b is going to be a positive 4b. I have 4 minus 7, which is a negative 3. And on the right side, I got 77. 7 times 11 is 77. Okay, I'm going to add 3 here. Add 3 here. 4b equals 80. Divide by 4. Divide by 4 and B equals 20. All right, two more to go. Number 13, got negative four R plus seven R is a positive three R. Three plus five R is gonna be eight R. 
and I got negative three left over on the right side, I got 10 squared. So 10 times 10 is 100. 100 minus seven is 93. I'm gonna add three here. Okay, I'm gonna add three here. I have eight R equals 96. And then just divide by eight. R equals 12. Okay, last one, number 14. Yeah, negative 7q plus a 5q, that's going to be a negative 2q. 8 minus 6 is a positive 2. On the right side, I got 3 times 5 is 15. 15 minus 7 is going to be 8. Okay, subtract 2 here. Those cancel out. Subtract 2 here. Negative 2q equals 6. Divide this side by a negative 2, so they cancel out which means I have to do this side by negative two. That's gonna leave me with Q equals a negative three. All right, so there you go. That is Matthew C, Algebra one, lesson three A. Just gotta remember, just take it slow. There's no point in rushing through these. Um, just combine your like terms, do the opposite, and solve for the equation. I will see you next time.